right, guys, we're gonna do a quick install video on the labels that we offer for the uh, GF half inch valves. Um, we've got water, and then we've got two different types of SH that we're field testing right now. And then we also have a detergent one. So for this video, you've got two SH ones, so just bear with me. Um, it's gonna be pretty simple. What you're gonna do is you're gonna pull off your handle, just like that. You'll pull your disc off, just like this. And then we're gonna take a rag. Obviously yours is gonna be uh, disassembled here, but what we'll do just so you can see is we'll pull this old label off. These are high quality labels. They're laminated vinyl. So they're great for outdoor stuff. My truck sits outside 24 seven and I've had no issues with this stuff. Um, the big thing that you gotta look for here is the arrow orientation of the valve. These little arrows that are right here on the sides, you wanna have that facing upwards. My metering valve is set up that way. So whenever I open it, it's to the left. And whenever I close it, it's to the right. So if you have the arrows pointing upwards, just like that, that's how these valves are, or not, sorry, not these valves, that's how these labels are meant to work. Um, so once you have your metering system set up that way, then we can move forward with the install process. What you're gonna do on these plastic plates is you're gonna take a little bit of acetone or um, rubbing alcohol is what I would recommend. My truck's been outside in the rain, so I'm just gonna dilute it with some water here. And then you're gonna go around this real quick. I've gotta get off the old adhesive and stuff that's on here. So make sure that's cleaned really good because this is the only way it's gonna stick on here um, for a long period of time. So once you get that all cleaned up, take another rag and just dry it off. Now we're ready to install. So, like I said, on the install here, you've got a bunch of different markings on this plate. You've got zero all the way around to 180. You wanna make sure that your arrows are facing up and then it's gonna be kind of hard for me to do not sitting at a desk. I'd recommend probably sitting down for this. You wanna align that white line and this one here, the off and the fully open with the zero degree mark right there. So what you wanna do is just kind of get a good general idea on it as you push it up set it into place like that and then just easily work your way around it to get it seated and then once it's on there you can kind of massage it in to make sure that it gets into all the grooves and it sticks on there really good and then you're all set so now you've got all your percentages on here for your bleach we've got two different types that we're field testing right now so once we determine which one is the most accurate that will be the one that we then send out to old orders and stuff so don't freak out if you're buying this one and you're like oh crap now i gotta buy another one no once we figure out which one is completely accurate and uh, works the best then we'll update that with the old orders and just continue to sell whichever one um, so those are the two bleach then you've got your water here and then the soap one is on the website um, it's the same you know thing it's just got an ounces per gallon uh, the big thing to keep in mind though with these labels and with any metering valve in general is anything that you change here or if you have different size input lines output lines the hose reel lines whatever it is going to be a different overall ratio um, so what I mean by that is my setup is three quarter inch non-collapsible in for our inlets to the pump inlet. And then we downsize here to half inch that goes from the output of the pump to the hose reel. And then I have about 225 foot of Flexzilla half inch line. So if you have half inch inlets here and half inch all the way through and three eighths line at the hose reel, or 5 8 line at the hose reel, it is going to affect your overall percentage. So, pros and cons. These labels are now easily readable. So if you decide, hey, we need a 3% mix, okay, well, you're right there. You know, now you don't have to sit here and convert 
okay, well, 40 degrees on a chart equals this percentage. It's very simple. You, you literally can just, you know, 2%. 4.5%, you know, 6.25%, whatever your strength of chemical is. Same thing with the water. Now you've got a consistent, you know, open, closed, excuse that, my soap isn't hooked up yet, but 25%, 50%, 75%. It's a very accurate way to, um, you know, train your guys in the field, have them have consistent, uh, you know, percentages and do whatever you need to do. So for what that's worth, keep that in mind. All right, and then just the reinstall process back onto your valve, depending on where you've got it at. Literally just push that back on. If you try to put it on upside down, it, it won't sit in there. It'll, it, you have to force it in order to get it in there. Like it will not sit on there flush. So there's only one way you can fit these on unless you physically turn the valve around inside of the unions. Um, the other thing you can do too, is you can pop off this little cover and you can drill this out or pull it out. It's got a little slot right here where you can screw that into the valve there. So I don't do it on my truck. I've seen some other builds where they do it. It's definitely a good idea um, if you're worried about your valves coming off down the road. So now you're back up and running. And now you can easily pick whatever percentage you need to. And you've got a consistent sticker that's gonna hold up. These have a lifetime warranty and free shipping. The description will be down below. Um, they are $10 per label. Thanks for watching.